I'm Chanel Greco from Step Paris, and in this video, I'll share with you the five must know Google Apps Script tips. Tip number one debug like a pro. No matter how experienced you are at using Google Apps Script, you will make errors from time to time. Your code simply won't won't run. So the sooner you learn how to debug, the better and more efficient for you. Now, I have put together a video. I will be linking to it right about now, and it shows you the different options you have when debugging with Google Apps Script. Tip number two, may the documentation be with you. There is no single human being who wakes up one morning and knows everything about Google Apps Script. Instead, the way we learn how to use, let's say, the spreadsheet service is by reading the documentation provided by the creator of this language being Google, obviously. So I believe it's crucial to get to know the documentation and use it on a regular basis. Tip number three, it's essentially JavaScript. When we use Google Apps Script to automate, let's say again, a spreadsheet, then obviously we're writing our cold code in Google Apps Script, but this language is essentially JavaScript. So it's JavaScript with a sprinkle of some, you know, some Google Workspace objects like the spreadsheet service and so on and so forth. Why is this interesting to know? Well, Let's say you're trying to figure out how to, I don't know, work with a two-dimensional array, which is typically what you get back when you're accessing data in a sheet. Well, if you Google for Google Apps Script two-dimensional array, see how many search results you get? If on the other hand, you search for JavaScript two-dimensional array, have a look at that search result. So if you're looking to find information on how to do something on how do you, you know, I don't know, work arrays, what are objects and so on and so forth, by all means, search for Google Apps Script as a search term, but also try out JavaScript because I guarantee you, you will find more search results. And if you have a JavaScript, I don't know, beginner's learner book at home, read that. What you learn there, I would say about 99% of that information, you will be able to transfer it over to Apps Script. That's also why I say, if you know a little bit something about Apps Script, excuse me, about JavaScript, well, then Apps Script is going to be no problem for you. Absolutely you know, nothing. Because if you apply tip number two, which is get to know the documentation, combined with your JavaScript knowledge, you're writing Apps Script code in no time. Learn how to automate tasks, processes, and data handling in Google Sheets. Head over to courses.subparis.io and check out our Google Sheets automation course. Tip number four, make them editors. So if you've written a Google Apps Script code, it's um, bound to a document, let's say to a Google Sheets document, and you want other people maybe your colleagues, to run the script, so to access uh, that document and run the script. Well, in that case, they have to be editors. Otherwise, they won't be able to run the script. If you do not want to make them editors, well, in that case, they will have to make a copy of that document. And then obviously that copy is going to be their own document and then they can run the script. But what you have to keep in mind is that from that time on, you will have two separate documents. So if you go ahead and improve the code in your document, in your versions, the others won't be able to benefit from those improvements. Tip number five, use autocomplete. With the new App Script IDE, we have an awesome autocomplete functionality. This is something we were missing in the previous version, but the version now, it's really awesome and it works really well. I use it every single time I code in App Script. Why I suggest using this is because it will help you. It will guide you when you're writing your code. So you will be faster. You won't have to type out every sim every um, separate method, uh, but instead just use the auto complete, click on tab, and that's it. But on the other hand, I think it also teaches you what four methods, for instance, are available um, on the objects that which uh, which you can use. And I also find it interesting because sometimes it 
it's a first hint that I maybe got something wrong and I'm looking for a specific method in the autocomplete and it's not there or the autocomplete is just totally empty. And that for me very often is a hint that maybe something's off with my code or I made a mistake. So I definitely do suggest that you use the autocomplete. Now it's your turn. Let us all know in the comment section below, what should tip number six be? Why don't you go ahead and check out the other app script tutorial videos that you find here on our channel and talking about channel, how about you hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel to never miss out on any app script or Google Workspace video tutorials or explanation videos in general.